and have your way in our lives this morning. Oh God, let your presence be felt. Let the Holy Ghost be manifested among us this morning, God. Let your presence be welcome in this place. Oh God, we ask that you'll tear down every stronghold. Oh God, everything that is not of you this morning. Every spirit that is not of you this morning, God. We confuse them with the Spirit of God. And we subject them to you this morning. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, we invite you to come here. Lord, intervene in this worship. Disrupt this worship, God. And let it be according to your will. Let it be according to your plan. Oh, God, we need you now more than anything. We need your presence this morning, God. We need a touch from you this morning. Lord, we need to hear from you this morning, God. Lord, if we don't hear from you, then God, our coming here is in vain. And God, we don't want to walk this far. We don't want to drive this far, God, and leave and come here in vain this morning. Let your glory shine as we live in the sunshine, God. Father, we praise you this morning. Have your way in our hearts this morning, God. Have your way in our spirit. Those that are on their way, God, I pray for journeying mercies. I pray that you'll be with them this morning. Those that are joining us online, I pray for a double portion of your blessing. Those that are listening in their houses this morning, pray for a double portion of your blessing this morning. We give you glory, God. Tabernacle with us one more time, God. Fellowship with us one more time. Dine with us one more time, God, as we sit a little closer to you. Have your way this morning. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. Let God's people praise him. Let God's people praise him. The word of God said, let everything that have breath Praise the Lord. We are not dead this morning. We are physically alive. And most of all, we are a lively stone, spiritually connected this morning. We are alive. Let us glorify God. Hallelujah. 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 When we praise God, demons tremble. When we praise God, the enemy is defeated. When we praise God, victory belongs to us. We give God glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, praise team. Thank you, brethren. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the God who is God over the universe. Hallelujah to the God who remaineth God. Hallelujah to the unchanging God. Hallelujah to the everlasting Father. Hallelujah to the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there a worship in the house this morning? Is there a worship in the house this morning? Is there a worship to evoke the presence of the Lord this morning? Is there a worship in the house this morning? Is there a living vessel in the house this morning? Thou will not allow the sticks nor the stones to take your place this morning. We give you glory this morning, God. We give you glory this morning. We give you glory this morning, God. 
We give you glory. We give you glory, God. We give you glory this morning. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Standing on hold 
this morning oh God and whatever sin is found inside of us turn on the Holy Ghost power wash and wash us thoroughly wash us from all unrighteousness and all sin wash us God that we can be clean wash us so that we can be holy in your presence Wash us, God, that we can be accepted in your presence. Oh, God, wash us that our praises will be acceptable by you. That our offerings will be acceptable, God. Holy God, visit us this hour and speak to our hearts, God. Help us not to be stubborn. Help us not to be stiff naked, God, and hard hearted. But God, let us seek you. Let us lift our eyes unto you. Bow our hearts before you, God, and let you do unto us as it pleases you. Take control right now, God. Move through this congregation. Fix it, God, for your glory. Fix us for your glory, God. Fix us for your glory. Fix us for your glory, God. 
Let us be like Jacob to the angel. I will not let go until you bless me. Let us not let go, God, until you fix us this morning. Let us not let go until you fix us this morning. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, we can't go on the way we are, God. We must turn from our wicked and sinful ways and see your face. Have your way this morning, God. Have your way, have your way. Have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way, have your way, God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us go back to our places when it is possible. The Lord is speaking to your heart. Just allow him to speak. Don't allow the program to distract you if God is speaking to your heart. Just stay in his presence. He's speaking to you. Just stay in his presence and hear what he has to say. Hallelujah. Let us worship the Lord. Let us exalt the King of Kings. Let us exalt the Lord of Lords. Let us worship him. Let us adore him. Let us adore him, 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 let us adore him. There's a sweet spirit in this house. Let us not stand in the way of the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let me acknowledge our founding bishop, our presiding bishop. Praise God. Let me greet our pastor, Pastor Allen and his wife, Missionary Allen. Let me greet our deacons, our deaconesses, our missionaries, our officers, evangelists. Let me greet our wonderful saints, is there any visiting one? Let me greet you. Let me greet those who have not known the Lord Jesus Christ as their saviors yet. I bring you hearty Christian greetings. Let me acknowledge those who are viewing by the various platforms. We acknowledge your presence and we are grateful for the time that you took to be with us. We give God glory and honor because God has provided that you could be where you are and still being a part of the Old Harbor Evangelistic Center. We give God glory this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you something. There's just the presence of the Lord is just in this place. We just need to find ourselves in that place, at that place where we can pass in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as I said, if the Holy Spirit bid you to take away yourself in a little corner and just give God glory, don't let the one, two, three distract you. Are you and your God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for your visit. Thank you for your presence with us this morning. God, even if I don't go through with this program, 
I want to make sure that you get the glory. I want to make sure, God, that you get the glory. I want to make sure you get the glory, God. God, it's not about us. It's about you. God, we can put away the program and just let you. God, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Is there somebody who's carrying a heavy burden and just need to open your mouth and praise God? Praise him through your situation. Praise him out of your situation. Praise that yoke from off your neck. Praise that burden off your back. Praise that shackle off your feet. Praise the chains of your hands. And praise God till you can't praise him anymore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to fellowship in the presence of the Lord. We're going to hug somebody. And let them feel the love of God coming from our hearts today. Hallelujah. Oh, what a glory that will be. Fellowship, fellowship. Oh, when the rats of souls will see. Oh, what a hallelujah band when we reach the land. What a glory that will be. Oh, what a glory.
he has lost his aunt. Remember to join us for Bible study on Wednesday. The theme is my fruitfulness is permanent. My barrenness is temporary. And for persons who have not yet joined, you are missing out on, on some inspirational work of the Lord from our own pastor. So make sure you join us on Wednesday, right? We have looked at financial fruitfulness. We have looked at physical fruitfulness. And this week we'll be looking at spiritual fruitfulness. So remember to join us at 7 p.m. Well, um, right, 7.30. Okay. Um, kind of remember to complete your assignment, which is to find scriptures that speak to us prospering spiritually. Pastor Thompson express his gratitude to us for our support to the Divine Evangelistic Church of God anniversary and dedication service last Sunday. Please note that the Lord's Supper will be served today. The Jamaica Evangelistic Association Annual Youth and Sunday School Convention will be held on Eros Day, Monday, October 16, 2023. It will commence at 9.30 a.m. at the Mandeville Evangelistic Center. The speaker is Adrian Parkinson. The theme is, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Reigniting the youth to build on the foundation. The convention fee is $6,000 per church. Refreshment will be on sale. Now we look at the week's activities. Monday at 7 p.m. is prayer meeting via Google Meet. Tuesday at 11 a.m. is prayer and fasting service, and this is also through Google Meet. Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. is Bible study through Google Meet. Sunday, as per usual, at 10 a.m., is divine service here at 16 Patrick Street. These are the announcements. Please pray concerning them and make every effort to attend. God bless you all. Did the Holy Ghost work with my eyes? Hallelujah. Give him another praise. Amen. One more time he came through. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. As the announcement has been read, we realize that we need workers for different areas. So whichever area we can fit into to build the kingdom of God, let us avail ourselves so that God can get the glory out of what we do. Thank you very much, Sister Ivy, for reading for us through the lens of the Holy Spirit. All right, so as we know, today is first Sunday, pastoral Sunday, and so we ask of you to give what you took for the care of our pastor. Right, so at this time, we want to acknowledge the persons who are celebrating their birthdays and their anniversaries in the month of October. So if you are celebrating in the month of October, I'm going to ask you to stand so we can celebrate with you. And most of all today, we are celebrating with Sister Shanice because today is her birthday. So she's gonna stand. And I know there are other persons who have birthday in October. We're gonna ask you to stand also. Alright, so we are going to sing for you all, for the person celebrating. I know Atta is celebrating his birthday too, so I don't know where he is right now, but let us sing for you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to all who know. Happy birthday, happy birthday. 
Happy birthday, happy birthday to all our oh no. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to all our oh no. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to all our oh no. And as we know, today is Sister Shani's birthday. So, you're not telling me your birthday yet, man. We sit down. Just because we know her own. See her today. Yes, and so, she's inviting all of us for dinner. Because, you know, food is her specialty. So, I know she's going to have a lot of food. Yes, so, she's going to be there. Brother Heinz, when is your birthday? The 13th. So, we can stop by? We all can stop by. You could say it of the year. Sister Hart. 23rd of October will be Sister Hart's birthday. Should we come up there? All right, we'll see you in Old Arbor. Don't worry yourself. Atta Daniel is hiding around the back. Atta birthday is the 12th of October. And... Uh, even though he's telling people that he's 15, he's not reach here yet. You're not see with him. He's soon get there though. So we celebrate birthdays with you. And we trust that you'll have a great month. We trust that the rain won't wash you away. Now, after you have to ask that, that's not mine to say. So we... Um, you have to ask the person who's celebrating the birthday. Kemuel would have said yes or no. So therefore, please enjoy your month. Please enjoy your day. I know some persons start celebrating from the end of September. So enjoy your month. And when November comes, please leave it alone because your time expires. Very good. Thank you very much. Is there anybody celebrating their anniversary in October? Anybody? Anybody planning to get married in October so we can celebrate with you next year? Let me see all these single persons in the house. Stand for me, please, all of you. All the persons who are able to marry, who are at age and eligible to get married, stand for me, please. All right. Lord, we pronounce a blessing on those who are standing. You see their heart, and you see their need. And so God, we pray that you'll provide husbands and a wife for Brother Nicholas, so that when him walk in, all of us will see. Those who don't stand, God, they don't need anybody, so make them stay single. In Jesus' name, amen. Ninety-nine and below. Before you have to stop at eighteen, though. All right. So we give God thanks that we can be here, and uh, we can celebrate with our brethren. We can laugh with you. We can joke with you because that's what God wants us to do—to make each other happy. When it is serious time, we're serious. When it's time to make you smile and take off little and the age of your face. We allow that to happen. I know Sister Joy is just waiting in the garden. God bless you, Sister Joy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Powis is right at the door. The Lord bless her. Amen. So at this time, it's time to give back a portion of what the Lord has blessed us with. And so I'm going to ask us all to take out our offerings. And we are going to stand so that we can give back to the Lord a portion of what he has blessed us with. And so, while the collection of the offering, Sister Lewis will be ministering to us in song. All right, so let us repeat the tithing creed. Let us stand, please. Thank you.
Take out your offering, no matter how small it is. If you don't have any touch the container, you say, Lord, bless me. And when you touch it, you touch your pocket here. Yeah? You say, Lord, bless me. When I tithe, God promises to open the windows of heaven and pour out for me a blessing. Malachi 3 verse 10. When I give, Jesus promised, if I give, it will be given back to me good measures pressed down, shaken together, and running over. For with the same measure I give, it will be given back to me. Luke 6, 38. Paul the apostle said, He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. 2 Corinthians 9, 6b, Galatians 6, 7. As I give today's offering, I am believing the Lord for jobs or better jobs, raises or bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, working for good money, bills paid off, settlements, estates and inheritances, houses and lands, interest and incomes, rebates and returns. And listen, I notice sometimes we stand and we try to step on the debt. And I'm going to tell you the truth. If you don't work, you can't pay off your debt. So we're going to have to get a job if we don't have any to pay off with debt. And in order not to have any debt, we now go borrow anything. Right? So come now. Debts demolish. Debts demolish. Royalties receive. So when we're saying royalties, if it's a job, job I receive. Husband I receive. Wife I receive. Whatever it is that you want, good health, ready now. Royalties receive. So speak whatever it is that you need in your life. Lord, help us to be 100% tithe. We are blessed. I am blessed. You are blessed. My household is blessed. We have to declare it in the atmosphere, you know. We have to declare it in the atmosphere, speak it in our, with our mouth. Life and death lies in the power of the tongue. My household is blessed. We are blessed. It's offering time. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Let us bless the day's offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Royalties receive. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for good health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my church family. Royalties receive. Father, I just want to thank you for this hour where we can come before your presence in giving. Lord, we thank you for what you have blessed us with. Sometimes, God, it seems as if it's not enough to give back to you. Oh Lord, help us to take the time out to give back. 
Lord, I pray at this time that whatever we give unto you, it will give, be given from a clean heart. And Lord, you will get the glory, the honor, the praise from it. Let us not give grudgingly, God. Let us not give with a heavy heart and a long hand. But God, let us give willingly that you will give back unto us according to the measures of our faith. I pray this morning that you will bless the offering that will be given from the pockets of your people. Those who don't have, Lord, I pray that you'll provide for them. Royalties will receive God. Press down, shaken together and running over. Hallelujah, that they will have enough to give. Lord, I pray that, hallelujah, hallelujah, that you will use this offering, God, for the extension of your work on earth, the church, property, and Marley, God. It will be used to establish your kingdom on earth there. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. May be seated while the ushers serve you. Sister Louise will be coming to minister to us. So. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning, I just want to acknowledge the Holy Spirit who is ahead of my life and who is very evident in this place this morning. There's also one I'd like to lift up that I've met many years ago. Never leave me, never forsake me. Hallelujah. I would like to tell you what I think of Jesus. Since I find in him a friend so kind and true, I would tell you how he changed my life completely. He did something that no other friend could do. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. There is no other friend as kind as he. No one else could take the sin and darkness from me. Oh, how much he cared for me. All my life was full of sin when Jesus found me. All my life was full of misery and woe. Jesus placed his kind and loving arms around me and he showed me the place I ought to go. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. There's no other friend as kind as he. No one else could take the sin and darkness from me. Oh, how much he cared for me. I would like to tell you what I think of Jesus. Since I find in him a friend so kind and true, I would tell you how he changed my life completely. He did something that no other friend could do. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. There's no other friend so kind as he. No one else could take the sin from me. 
together for the choir as they come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
God fill us up with purpose. Fill us up with purpose. Fill us up with the action to function. As we tell your thanks, as we tell your thanks for your word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, you can only be blessed and the peace and sweet rest as you heal them, Lord. Have your Bibles with me this morning. As I welcome you this morning to the Old Harbor Evangelistic Center, those who are joining us face to face this morning, those who are visiting with us, I want to tell you thanks for being here. This morning, I realize we have a lot of choices, but you made it the Old Harbor evangelistic center today and I want to tell you thanks for being with us face to face or virtually this morning I want to thank everyone who is hearing us across this community thank you for taking the time out to listen to us here this morning turn with me to the book of Genesis chapter 1 we'll be reading Verses 1 and 2. And when you have found that, just mark it. Go to the back of your Bible. To the book of Genesis. Go to the book of Revelation chapter 22. We're going to read verses 1, 2 and verses 3. Genesis 1, 1 and 2, and Revelation 22, verses 1 to 3. Let us read together after 2, 1, 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and without void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Revelation 22, verses 1, 2, and 3. Together. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and out of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and in either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve number of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb of God shall be in it and his servants shall serve him lord bless you may be seated in the house of the lord it is indeed an honor this morning for me to be standing in the house of the lord this morning to share a word to the house of god this morning and it is even a greater blessing for me to be here today as this month is a significant month for a number of reasons. So I hope that over the month of September, medically, the men took the time out to get their prostate examination done, those who are over 40. And this month is breast cancer month. So we hope the ladies go and get their mammograms done, start rehearsing their self-examination or breast examination. It is also the month we celebrate mental health. So come next week, starting the 10th of October, is 
World Mental Health Day. So I hope we are taking care of our mental health. And also it is Oral Hygiene Month. So remember to go get your cleaning done because we have to be physically well. Come on, somebody. I say we have to be physically well to fight the spiritual war. Oh, somebody missed it. I said we have to be physically well to fight the spiritual war. Now this morning, I want to speak to you on an important global topic. On an important life source. On an important aspect of what God has for us, his people this morning. So we need to understand that in the natural sense, life is water and water is life. And over this morning, for all of us to be here, it was essential that we had access to some form of water. Water is one of the key elements that as human beings, we are not able to function without. We normally hear the saying that it is three and three. So we cannot exist without water for three days but we can exist up to three weeks without food. And therefore, it is important this morning for us to understand that when we look at the life source of water, the word of God has been established and is built on the content of water. And from the beginning, as expressed in Genesis, right through the word of God to Revelation, water has been a key component of God expressing, of God relating, of God demonstrating his authority and his power to us, his people. You know, that over the time you look at the human body and the essential of water, 70% of the human body is made up of water. The brain, when all of the elements are put together, 73% of the essence of our brain consists of water. 73 percent of our heart and 83 percent of our lungs comprises of water. The, the development of human beings could not come to light without water. So let us start at the beginning. It takes water to move the ovum from the the, the ovary to the fallopian tube it takes water for the sperm cell to move but over the growth process of the fetus it must have water to exist in glory to God so life begins in water and water is life I want to say that over a day you have not calculated it, but researchers have shown that each human being uses in various formats 50 to 100 liters of water. So if you see those bottles we are drinking this morning, multiply those by two, and you will realize that you would have used over 200 of those small bottles of water for the day because one is 500 so you multiply that by two so you're looking at a lot of those bottles we are consuming for water for the day but this morning we are in the house of God and because water is essential 
the Lord God looked in Genesis and saw that the deep was covered in darkness. But the essential resource that was needed was there and that was water. And therefore he was able to move from darkness and speak for light. And light came so that life could come forth. And when life come forth, he established life in the waters. We know that there are three natural forms of water that we associate with on a daily basis. We have the ocean that is salt water. We have our rivers and our lakes that is fresh water. And then we have our rainfall that is also a source of fresh water. But this is a question that we will always ask. Why it is that no matter how many rivers flow into the ocean, it is not getting any fresher. It still remains a salt body of water. Why it is that no matter how much rainfall we get, our rivers are contained within their course. Why is it that our lakes, all these years of waterfall, they are not overflowing because God has it all in his hands. So I want to speak to you on a small topic this morning. And my topic to you is let it flow. Somebody say with me this morning, let it flow. The word of God has demonstrated to us over and over from the book of Genesis how important the essence of of water is uh, to life. Uh, so in the book of Genesis, uh, the Bible said that there was no rainfall uh, because the dew and the water came up from the ground uh, that met the needs of those uh, who needed uh, to survive. Uh, the plants, the animals, uh, and even uh, Adam and his wife uh, had enough resource uh, to do uh, their daily but God used water as a correction measure. And I want to say to somebody this morning that when God is flowing, you need to understand that the water can be constructive. It can be supportive. It can be a life source. But if you are not careful, water can be destructive. It can take life. It can change it essence of what you are, where you are, and what you do. The word of God therefore warned us that when we are building our spiritual house, as we build our physical house, we must be careful of where we build because our foundation must be one of such that can withstand the flow. The word of God said that God looked on the action of men. He became unhappy. So he caused the water from the skies to fall and brought forth disciplinary action. But in all of that, he remains the savior because he said to Noah, build me an ark. That ark was open for every opportunity. And I'm so glad this morning as we sit in the house of God, I wanna to say to you quickly this morning that that opportunity is open to all of us. The opportunity for God to do what he needs to do for us is always open to us. And God wants his opportunities of blessing. 
is opportunities of prosperity, is opportunities of life changing, is opportunity to flow to us. That measure of correction. When God see the clean up and the effort that was necessary to bring back the perfection of earth together, he decide that no more will he use it in that manner for earth. But I'm so glad that as God let it flow, he has opened that opportunity for his people to be used with the source of water as an essential element in the ministry. Because as the children of Israel came out of Egypt, out of bondage, as they came out of Egypt, being affected by all the elements that has impacted them, he realized that a washing was necessary. He realized that a cleansing was necessary. So there was a lot of other avenues that he could take them through. But he knew the importance of bringing them through the overflow. He knew the importance of taking them to the courts of his blessing. So he let them all go to the place where the ocean met the mountains. God looked at it and said, look, Moses, they got to walk through the overflow. So as the children of Israel came upon this blockade, they came upon this tragic situation, they saw death coming their way. God said to Moses, what is in your hand? It is time to open up and let it flow. Somebody not speaking with me. I say open it up and let it flow. Because sometimes as a believer, there are things in your life that seems like an obstruction. That seems like a blockage. But you got to say to God, God, in time for it to flow. So Moses looked at the body of water, stretched forth his rod, and the word of God said that the ocean opened side to side, creating an opportunity for the children of Israel to proceed through. Had a key and in 
the midst of the pushing through. Oh my God, at the key to the ocean, at the key to the sea, and when he opened the oh glory, 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 glory. The Panama Canal brings two great oceans together and travel would mean that they had to go down to the Horn in Africa come all the way back up to come into the Caribbean but the Panama Canal brings a shorter distance across mainland bringing two oceans together the thing about it is that it is not established where you can just move from one ocean to the next because that would cause severe erosion and trouble in the creation so it was made with a locking system that when ships are leaving the Caribbean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean it travels on a locking system and as they operate those locking system it is the only way to prevent the collision of the two oceans But man might be operating the Panama Canal. But I want to say to somebody today that God is operating your overflow. Oh, you're not preaching with me. I say God is in charge of your flow. And therefore you've got to position yourself and be ready for God to open and let it flow. as they cross into land the children of Israel meet up on a new challenge they were in a desert place they start to become thirsty water became essential they look to Moses the Moses where is this place? What opportunities is here? What can we benefit from in this place? And how will we survive? And I know that as a people of God, Sometimes where we are look as if this is where it ends. This is where life ends. I'm in a desert place, a destitute situation. The sun is burning on my back. Oh, God of mercy. And there is nothing to pick from. There is nothing to plant. And all we are hearing from pastor is forward still is Jehovah's will. Though the billows dash and spray, all you can hear is, is press along saints, press along. But pastor, you are not seen. I'm in a destitute place. I'm in a desperate place. There is nothing here. All I've seen is barrenness. But my God, the Lord shall supply. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Somebody say, all my needs. It is important for us as believers to understand that leaders have a responsibility. But when we are in a situation 
We can't always only look to our leaders. Because I'm still saying to us as a church that we here will meet, we here will help, we here will assist to meet the needs of each other. But it is important for us to understand that we are not the source of meeting those needs, but we have to look to the hills from whence coming our help, our help coming from God. As the children of Israel cry out to Moses, Moses have to cry out to God and say, God, what do we do? But I see God turning up and say, Moses, that rock. Somebody said a rock. Somebody said a rock. I said a rock is available. I said a rock as the resource. I said the rock can meet the need because the children of Israel as they walk in the daytime the word of God said that God provided a pillow of cloud by day and as the night became dark he provided a light by night so this God who provided the manna from heaven to eat he too will provide the water if you believe him say let it flow the word of God brought us as the children of Israel had to go through their time to establish the word of God God said to Joshua that it's a generation born in the wilderness 20 years and under will experience the promised land. But he says, Joshua, I'm going to take you to a place because just like how those who crossed from Egypt had to go through the water, this nation We'll have to go through Jordan. Oh God, the essential of the flow. And as Joshua prepared them and they reached Jordan, somebody looked at Jordan and said, Joshua, I think we need to find a different path. Joshua, we need to find a new avenue. Joshua, we don't need to go this way. Jordan is no bank to bank. The water is filled with all sorts of stuff. We can't even see where to put our feet. But God shall provide a resting place. Oh God, I'm preaching to somebody. I said, God shall provide a firm foundation. God said to Joshua, let every tribe find a rock. Oh, glory to God. I said, let every tribe find a solid rock. I said, it was the rock in the desert. And now we are up on Jordan. You got to get a rock. Put your neighbor and say, this rock is Jesus. Whatever you need. Is in the rock. Is Jesus a sure foundation? The Lord said to Joshua, as the priests proceed forward, each tribe must lay their rock in Jordan. And they will have dry ground to cross on. The power of Jordan, the speed of Jordan was irrelevant to the authority of God. I said the power of Jordan, the 
the speed at which it was flowing, the magnitude of the water could not face the authority of Almighty God. And I want to say to somebody this morning that no matter how it seems like it is more than you can bear, it cannot surpass it, it cannot overflow, it cannot cover the authority of Almighty God. So they go through their baptism as a nation to cross over into the promised land. I want to say to us this morning that we have to ask God to let it flow because our flow Oh, glory to God is essential to our blessing. Touch your neighbor and say, my flow. Say, my flow is essential to my blessing. So I see the prophet Daniel as he knelt down to pray. He realized that talking to God as he made his request known to God God said that Daniel, that has already been released. Oh, Jesus, help me in this house. Daniel, your request has already been sent. Your prayers have already been answered. But your flow of an obstruction. Oh, help me, help me, help me. You see, the adversary know 
it is in your flow that you're going to get higher in God. Oh, come and preach with me. I said, the adversary know that it is in your flow that you're going to get your breakthrough. The adversary know that it is in your flow that your opportunity grows. The adversary know that it is in your flow that your breakthrough dwells. So his plan is to obstruct and to block your overflow. But the Lord said help. Lord God have mercy. Somebody say help Lord. Somebody say help Lord. Daniel knew that there was nothing more that he could do because the blockage brother Beckford was not in the natural Lord God of mercy sister Benjamin I said the blockage is not done by a beaver blocking up the water flow is not a dam stopping the river from coming downstream but the word of God says that there was an evil force there was a principality and power there was a ruler of darkness there was spiritual wickedness in high place there was something else that needed a warring angels I wish I had somebody to call for some more warriors, for some more warfare, for some more God of mercy. I wish somebody could say, Lord, I want to join the war because this means war.
Come on, Olam. Come on, Olam. I said the black bitch is stopping access.
Your overflow is in the house. Everybody everywhere, stand and lift your right hand with me.
Thank you. 
just going to ask the prayer mothers to just pray for our pastor at this time. The rest of us, let us just stretch our hands to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, your servant kneels before you at this hour. Lord, he has given what you have given unto him. So, God, I pray at this time that you will strengthen him. Pray, God, that you will overshadow him, God. Lord, you'll clear the atmosphere. You'll cramp and paralyze every plan of the enemy, God. Intercept every dart and every sword that the enemy pull out at him at this time. We cancel them in the atmosphere right now, God. We cancel them in the planning stage at this time. That they will not manifest themselves. And so, God, I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever blockage it is, God, that will hinder his flow. I pray, God, that you'll plunge it and you'll cleanse it, God, and you'll let the flow come down upon his life. Release that flow in his life at this time. Release that flow in his life. Oh, God, I pray that you will touch his body physically. Pray for physical strength at this time. I pray that you'll rejuvenate his body. Oh, God, I pray for spiritual strength to carry on the journey, God. I pray that you'll feed him, God. Feed him with the bread of heaven that he will want no more, God. He will neither hunger nor thirst, but God, he will be well fed because you are the great provider. Oh, God, I pray that you'll sustain your servant. Lord, sometimes the journey seems rough. Sometimes it feels lonely. But God, I ask that you'll send your angels to guide him. I ask that you'll send your angels to accompany him on the journey. Oh God, he will not get weary, God. He will not get cast down. He will not run away. But God, he will stand up and let you lead him, God. And he will follow according to your leading. God, I pray for a special anointing upon his life. In the name of Jesus, he could have been otherwise minded, God. But he chose to seek you first. He chose to give it to you first, God. And so this time I ask that you surround your servant again. Bless his entire household, God. Bless his extended household. Cover them under your blood now. Shield them with the blood, God. Seal them with the blood of approval this hour. In the name of Jesus. Let your will be done one more time. As we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. And we seal the word of God. We seal it in the name of the Father. We seal it in the name of the Son. We seal it in the name of the Holy Ghost. And we seal your servant, God. We put the blood of approval upon him right now. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, as we get ready for consecration, as we get ready for supper. Praise God, we get ready. Praise God to eat and drink. Praise God, what God has commissioned us to do. Praise God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. We honor you today, God. 
We exalt your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, when I used to go to one of my previous churches, and it is supper time, and Sister Powis can attest to that. We normally have to go to the altar and we have to consecrate ourselves before we draw nigh to the table. We never used to be served like how we serve one one here. We have to go to the table and we have to sit at the table four by four and serve the supper. We have to go to the altar consecrate ourselves before we go to the table so while one set was at the table another set was at the altar praying before we could enter you see i think we have reached the stage where we take the lord's supper for granted but today in order for it to flow let us think about it before we stretch our hands to receive. I am thine, O oh Lord. I have heard thy voice and he told thy love to me. But I've longed to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee draw me nearer 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 blessed lord to the cross where thou hast where thou hast died draw me
And then we will all consecrate our hearts to the Lord. When we hear what the word of God says, we are going to talk to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 17 to verses 28 thereabout or 29. We'll go down as the Lord leads. Now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not, that ye come together not for the better, but for the worse. For first of all, when ye come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For there must be also heresy among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When ye come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper, but for in eating, everyone take it before other his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunken. What have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God, and shame that have none? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. Amen. After the same manner, oh glory, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this wine, ye do show the Lord's death until he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. If, for if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. Third, fourth, and ending. And if any man hungry, let him eat at home that he come not together unto condemnation, and the rest I will set in order when I come. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy cross, where thou hast died. Draw me to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Father, in the name of Jesus, let us all pray. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor at this hour. God, as we are about to partake of your bread and your wine, symbol of your body and your blood, God, all I ask of you this hour, help us to examine ourselves. Lord, and when we examine ourselves, God, we will know if we are worthy of taking, eating at the table that is spread for us. So, God, let our hearts be pure before you. God, if there's any secret sin that would hinder us from drawing near to the table, pray, God, that you'll search and you'll find it and you'll plunge it out. Oh, God, that the flow will flow freely. Oh, God, so many times some little things cause the flow not to flow. Oh, God, some little things cause blockage in our pipelines. But God, today I ask that you will plunge it. Oh, God, send a plumber to plunge our pipeline so that it will flow freely again. And so, God, I ask that you will consecrate our hearts at this hour. Oh, God, as we stretch our hands to receive, Lord, let power from on high come upon us. And the Holy Ghost will come upon us, God. And those that need to speak in unknowing tongues will speak in different language. Lord, those that are sick will be healed today. Those that have gone astray will return to the fold today. Miracle signs and wonders will take place, God, as we receive the supper today, God. Let there be a shift in the atmosphere at this hour. Fear and trembling will be upon your people. And oh God, we will not eat unworthily today, but we'll eat life and life abundantly, God. We'll eat health and strength, God, in the name of Jesus. Hear us, God. Hear us, God. Hear us, God. Hear us, God. Let the anointing flow. Let the blessing flow. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Break down the bread of life. Dear Lord, to me, as Thou did break the loaves beside the sea, be on that sacred place. Break down the 
The fountain of blood I have delivered unto you the night in which Jesus was betrayed into bread. After your break, saying, This is my body which is broken for you. To eat in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This is a new testament in my blood. For as often as we eat this bread, let us all eat. And drink this cup, let us all drink. We do show the Lord death until he comes. Somebody clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Somebody clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Just send your cups down to the end or send your cups up to the front. Today is indeed a blessing for us to be in the house of the Lord. Just lift your right hand with me in the house and just say with me, don't get distracted. Say, Lord, Today, I receive my overflow for anything and everything that had blocked your blessings, your opportunities, your promise. I'm standing in my overflow and I speak it, I believe it, and I receive it in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost, I am standing in my overflow. Somebody clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Say, I'm standing in my overflow. Say, I am a warrior, a Christian warrior, a 
Christian, with the weapon in a mirror, 